Let's talk about Azabajin. Azabajin. Azichibitinin. Azichbin. Just kidding, of course. I have to make this joke every single year because I've been doing it for so long. It's a tradition and a celebration of the many spokesperson at the contest. And of course, Linda Woodruff. But let's talk about the Azerbaijani song, Truth, performed by Chinggis. Ching, Ching, Chinggis Khan. It's a different song. But still Eurovision. Um, anyway, let's talk Eurovision. <laughs> What's up, you fools? Mad ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel, and yes, it's all about Azerbaijan, because the video has dropped. The song for the Eurovision Song Contest 2019 in Tel Aviv, Israel. It, the impossible has happened last year. As we all know, right, Azerbaijan did not qualify. That never happened before, and it gotta hurt, but that's all water under the bridge, and so 2018. Let's focus on what's happening this year. So. Chingis, ready to take the country back to the finals. Hopefully, at least that's the plan here. And hopefully bring it back to its former glory as well, because Azerbaijan, until 2013 or so, they've been doing really well, always top 10 result. And lately, it's drifting off a little, even though I like their songs better now than I did back then, funny enough. Anyway, so Chingis, he won Pop Idol when he was really young, back in 2007. And during that time, he was fairly known in Azerbaijan, I'm hearing but not anymore, right? And uh, so it's glad that he's getting this great opportunity. Time for another pun. I tell you the truth about truth. Wanna start with the good stuff first? Sure, let's do the good stuff. Number one, what did I have here? Oh yes, traditional sounds are part of this one, definitely prominent in this song. I'm a big fan of that alone. Um, makes it stand out just from the get-go. Just from the get-go. Number two, a powerful song. It's powerful. It has a, I like the chorus, and has a lot of power and energy. Something that just really helps it to stand out because it's not just like lackluster kind of a, a melody. So, yay. Number three, I love the beat. I love the bass and the sound. It gets your heart pumping and it's just so good. It's strangely sexy on top of it, the song, because of that. Do you know what I mean? Uh, definitely a lot of thought and effort was put into this thing, and you can tell. You can tell they did. And it works for me that they did this um, oriental, modern mix thing there. You know, it has a tr traditional Azerbaijani sound, but modern pop, dance music sound included. And that alone, I mean, yeah, yeah, how can you not appreciate that? Are you a fool? All right, let's talk about the bad. Well, it's not really bad. It's just maybe not as good, and we gotta be honest, right? So it's in English, right? The song is in English, and I still don't understand a lot of what he is saying. All I hear definitely is shut up about it. That's a good line to remember. Everyone at Euro Club will scream shut up about it, so that's gonna be really cool. That's a line I can appreciate. Uh, should become a Eurovision classic, though. <laughs> but I don't understand most of what he is saying. So shut up. Now, melodically, I do think that the final it factor is missing. It's not bad, it's a good melody, but there's something missing that I really wanted, like a distinct hook, maybe? That is what, in the end, was missing to be as memorable as I want it to be. And the song is a little bit of a roller coaster ride for me, like there are parts I just love, it's like yay, and then it goes a little, it drifts off a little, then it gets really good again, the chorus, so consistency, I guess, is what I'm talking about, is missing here a little. And this probably applies to most songs anyway, but there's certain songs where especially it's important, and that is the vocals on the night and as well the staging, because this could make or break this one. Absolutely. It needs to be like somewhat sexy maybe, but still like dominant at the same time. I feel like uh, Chingus, he needs to be like obviously the guy in the center stage, all the center of attention, and not like a king, but maybe like Apollo right there, and you have the people and the lights dancing, worshipping him around him. I think that would be a cool thing. Um, but he needs to own the stage. That is my point. Well, that being said, though, with all the things that I feel as are lacking here, this is still a great song. I really, really like it. I like it very much, actually. Again, that bass, that beat is so good. It's so good. Um, I can't get enough of it. It drives me crazy. I do feel as though I want to speed up 
it just a little bit. Maybe the cores only, at least it's like, ooh, a little faster, please, just a little. But hey, you can't have it all, I guess. To me, this one just... It has to qualify. It has so much going for it. It's different, it's good, obviously, it has rhythm, and it's dark, yet sexy at the same time, and I want it... I want to be at Euroclub, and this song comes on, and I'll be like, shut up about it! That's all I want. That's all I want. That's good enough. So this is my review of Azerbaijan. I'm a fan, make it work designer, so that's what I'm telling the team Azerbaijan. Give us a great staging and make me want to vote for it, because I have the power to vote. Just saying. So um, what do you think? Do you like the song or not? Leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'm moving on, on to the next video. Have a good day. Oh.